Blessings everyone, this is Reverend Afrin with the Four Pillars Shrine. Today I would like to start our Four Pillars devotional ritual. So, so far I have all of my things necessary. I have my libation of liquid. I have a physical offering in the form of a uh, muffin that I made um, from scratch. And I also have um, music playing as you can hear in the background as well, just to give some ambience. Um, so I'm gonna try and make this exposition kind of um, short. Um, just because I want people to be able to follow along. So if you are performing this ritual with me, um, please just um, prepare yourself, prepare your space. You don't even have to prepare your space if you don't have one. You can simply sit with the computer, sit in front of the computer, and imagine yourself standing with me at the altar and perform the ritual as I am doing it as well. Um, if you do have an altar, please prepare it um, in the way that is outlined in the script um, that you find on the WordPress website, and um, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so give me a moment to get everything set up, and we will begin. Let us first begin by clearing and releasing all excess energy, so follow me and allow me to lead you through this visualization. Sitting or standing, imagine a pillar of pure white light Imagine this light coming down through the top of your head. Imagine this light passing through your body, pouring down your face, down your shoulders and your abdomen. Imagine as this light is passing through you, it is flushing out all negativity and impurities. Imagine these impurities as black flecks. Imagine them passing, flushing away from your body. As you perform this visualization, imagine yourself being cleansed and purified. <clears throat> Continue to breathe deeply as you perform this visualization. Allow the water, the energy, to pour through you, down through you, all the way through you, exiting through the bottom of your body. And we make an affirmation, behold, there is one power in the universe, and we are the perfect manifestation of that power. As such, we purify consecrate and cleanse ourselves of all impurities in the world and in the astral. So might it be. <clears throat> so at this point we're going to create the sacred space. First we begin with the water. Behold, I do exercise thee, O creature of water, and do cast out from thee any impurities that may lie within thee. Behold, I do bless and charge thee for this work. Behold, O creature of salt, I do cast out from thee any impurities in the world and in the astral, and I do charge thee to do this work. Behold, the salt is pure. Behold, the water is pure. Purity into purity then, may purity be blessed. <clears throat> By the sacred body and the sacred blood of the Lord and the Lady, do I cleanse this space and cast out any impurities that may lie within this space. I cast out all impurities in the world and in the astral, in the name of the Lord and the Lady, so mote it be. <clears throat> Behold, I do exercise thee, O creature of fire, and do cast out from thee any impurities that may lie within thee. And behold, I do bless and charge thee for this work. Behold, O creature of air, do I cast out from thee any impurities in the world and in the astral. And behold, I do bless and charge thee for this work. Behold, the fire is pure. Behold, the air is pure. Purity into purity then. May purity be blessed. Thank <laughs> you. 
through the sacred breath and the sacred spirit of the Lord and the Lady do I purify and charge this space Now we will cast the circle, and I will read to you this blurb. Realize the importance of this step, to clear away the old and prepare for the new, as it is the whole universe, the cycle of life, death, and rebirth are ever constant, and the old must die to make place for the new. You are creating a sacred space to practice. Be fully aware of that fact as you proceed forward. As we cast the circle, realize that this is the most important step in terms of the ritual itself. This rite has its origins in ceremonial magic, and the symbolism is varied. Realize that this is the recreation of the mythic time, the time when everything was one and everything was at peace before the first creation. This circle represents the complete cosmos before one became two. Realize that all that, as you were, as that is you who pre was present before the first creation. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, and so you were always present and will always be thus, always. Keep this in mind as you perform the casting. Go as slowly as possible, for this is the meditative experience. <clears throat> I create a sacred circle, a sacred place to honor the divine. As the universe was whole before the first creation, so too is this circle complete and perfect in its own right. Let the circle stand as a reminder of the perfection of the universe. So mote it be. At this point, we're going to call the quarters. Beginning in the east, we are going to move Diosel around the circle. At this point, think about each quarter as you go. This may be the longest part of the ritual. As you are not calling the quarters per se, but are honoring the quarters when you stop at them, this is not a ritual, but a devotional rite. It is a time to think about what each quarter represents and how it relates to you personally. You are not inviting the energies into the circle, but the intention is to honor and give praise to these energies. Play that intention. Be aware of what you are trying to do and experience it as you do and not just going through the motions. Realize that this is the second logical step in the sequence of creation. First was this casting of the circle, the one. Then the honoring of the quarters as, express, as expressions of the one in the physical form. Beginning in the East. <clears throat> I praise you, Guardian of the East, you who are the representative of air. Bless us with your qualities of inspiration, joy, intellect, proper communication, and clarity of mind. Grant us wisdom that we may know the sacred truths. Banish all our depression and anxiety. Grant us your blessings. Allow us to walk in tune with the energies. We pray that all beings in the direction of the East will be blessed. We pray that all beings in the direction of the East be pre free from suffering. May all beings in the direction of the East be blessed, so mote it be. We praise you, Guardian of the South, you who are the representative of fire. Bless us now with your qualities of passion, creativity, courage, desire, ambition, and motivation. Banish from us the tendency to be judgmental, angry, aggressive, and egocentric. Allow us to walk with your energies. 
We pray that all beings in the direction of the south be blessed. May all beings in the direction of the south be free from suffering, and may all beings in the direction of the south be blessed. So mote it be. We praise you, guardian of the west, you who are the representative of water. Bless us with your qualities of compassion, psychic openness, positive sexual expression and intuition. Allow us to cultivate nurturing and sympathetic qualities. Banish from us the tendencies towards sorrow, sadness, spite, and hatred. Allow us to walk in tune with your energies. May all beings in the direction of the West be blessed. May all beings in the direction of the West be free from suffering. All beings in the direction of the West be blessed. Some would it be. I praise you, guardian of the North, you who are the representative of Earth. <clears throat> Bless us with your qualities of strength, stability, patience, and endurance. Allow us to cultivate humility and selflessness. Banish from us stagnation, complacency, shallowness, and stubbornness. Allow us to walk in tune with your energies. May all beings in the direction of the North be blessed. May all beings in the direction of the North be free from suffering. And may all beings be blessed. So mote it be. At this point, we are going to honor the ancestors. If you ascribe to ancestor worship, take the, the, this time to worship the ancestors, both incarnate and discarnate, and express your thanks for the gifts at this time. Think upon that fact. If you were not, if it were not for them, your life would not be. If it were not for those who have gone before, their triumphs and trials, then we would not know as much as we do today. Think upon those individuals who have made sacrifices in our world so that we may have the life we do today. Veterans, parents, religious and philosophical leaders, inspirational individuals and role models. You may include any particular ancestors of your area, profession, or religious organization. <clears throat> Hail to the ancestors, we give you praise. To all of our ancestors, both incarnate and discarnate, we give you thanks from the bottom of our hearts for all that you have given to us. We thank you for all that you have done in your lives, which have paved the way, that we may reap the benefits of your labors. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. At this point, we will honor the Lord and the Lady. Honor them and their gifts of creation. Honor them for the life that you live, and honor and give thanks to your patron deities, if any. Hail to the Lord and to the Lady, you who were there after the first creation, you who have created the entire universe. From the first creation, you split into the light and dark, into the spirit and matter, and thus populate the universe. We give you praise and worship from the bottom of our hearts. We thank you for all of the gifts that you have given to us and for all that you have provided in our lives. Our lives are the product of the love which we share for one another. We pray that we can live our lives, that you, that we may give you praise forever and always. This coincides with the spirit aspect of the ritual. This is the part of the ritual when magic would be performed. However, because this is a devotion ritual, we will not be performing magic. However, at this point, we will focus upon ourselves. Realize that you are the center of the universe. You are the axis mundi, which creates the higher and lower realms. You are the ladder, which leads yourself toward the divine. Your higher self is the key to open the door to the divine. It is the ladder upon which we ascend toward new heights. 
take time to think upon the nature of the soul, ever connected to the gods and with a constant line of communication. Realize we are not separate from the divine. Think upon this and vow to live in accordance with your higher self. At this point, we will turn inward. Let us turn inward in a meditative fashion. Praise be to our higher selves. We are the product of the divine union. We are the product of the union of light and dark, male and female. We recognize the nature of our souls. We are always with the Lord and the Lady and never separate from them. We open our hearts and souls to create a genuine and deep connection with the Lord and the Lady. At this point, if you would like to perform any other prayers, you are welcome to do so. I like to perform the peace prayer at this time. We pray for peace, we pray for love, we pray for stability. We pray for the United States of America. We pray for the world. We pray that love will overcome fear and peace will overcome hatred. At this point, we will give our offerings. This offering can be food or liquid. At this point, I have both. At this point, we are going to pick up the chalice and offer it. We give thanks to the Lord and to the Lady, to the gods, to our higher selves, to the guardians for their constant and renewed interaction in our lives. May there always be peace between us and may there always be worship and honor and may we, may we honor you for all of the days of our lives, for what we freely give, that we have, that all may experience the joy of the divine. Take this offering freely, we pray, so mote it be. Lord and Lady, Take this offering in your sacred and holy name, so mote it be. At this point, we are going to, again, bless the chalice and partake of it, that what we partake will bless us. Lord and Lady, we pray that you will send down your energies into this drink add your energies to this that all who partake of it be blessed This segment of the ritual is intended to give thanks to the ancestors, the gods, and the quarters. However, because we did not invoke them, we will not actually be thanking them and sending them away. Even though this ritual is complete and the circle is open, that does not mean that our involvement in our spiritual lives is over. So at this point, we are going to open the circle. I open this sacred space so that the blessings may pour out upon the entire planet. Although the circle is open, the connection I have built between the gods will remain unbroken forevermore. All that I do is for the good of all beings. May they partake of the blessing for which I have called. As the one has become the many, so too the many one. May the blessings reign. The circle is open. So are it be. 
that concludes the ritual for the Four Pillars Shrine uh, devotional ritual. Thank you so much for coming in and being involved in this. And I encourage you to perform it um, again on your own. Um, perform it as you need to, um, whenever you feel the necessary to do so. Um, also, again, perform it maybe on a Friday, once a week, once a month, just to keep yourself in connection with the divine. And at the spirit asked a, a portion of the ritual, you may take that time to say any prayers that you feel you need to say um, that aren't included in this particular rite. Um, you may say prayers to any particular ancestors, say any prayers to any particular patron deities. You may also say prayers to um, the, the world, uh, friends, family, anything you need to do within this framework. And I feel that this framework is a very good basis of framework that really helps you to grow and, and, and develop a personal relationship with each of these rites as they are performed. So I hope that this ritual has been beneficial to you, and I hope that you will continue to perform the devotion ritual. And until next time, signing off for now.